Podcast. The Arizona Interscholastic Association is out with its COVID list of recommendations for the coming school year. As of right now, school sports will continue, but there are some new guidelines. Team 12's William Pitts is live at AIA headquarters this morning with what athletes and their parents need to know. Good morning, Will. Good morning, guys. Yeah, the AIA is really pushing vaccines above all else are the most effective way to fight COVID. Now, the organization adds that vaccines are also the best way for sports to go back to normal since you can travel and possibly don't have to quarantine if you're exposed. Now, here's what the AIA is recommending for the coming year. First, of course, get the vaccine if you're eligible. The AIA also says schools should get proof of vaccination for players, coaches and staff. If there's no vaccination card, schools should assume a person is not vaccinated. A lot of the other precautions stay the same. Limit out Outside visitors, try to limit physical contact if you can and stay outside or in well ventilated areas for games and practices. They also have guidelines for what to look for if an athlete does come down with COVID to make sure they're okay to come back. Things like cardiac screening for any effects on the heart. Now, for athletes that are not vaccinated, all the original COVID guidelines should stay in place. And the AIA is also leaving a lot of this up to individual schools and districts because these are only guidelines. Now, the recommendations say, Schools should take into account things like how many vaccinated versus unvaccinated players they have and the size of their teams. We're live in Phoenix. William Pitts, Today in AZ.